Hey everybody, this is your boy Angel. I hope you're having a blessed day. I know I am. Let me give you a quick little vid. Um, currently at work right now, but I want to talk about this. Um, it's uh, infinite and permeance. Uh, you know, this just obviously dropped in flood. And I'm um, looking at the price point of it. You know, we have it at $83.99. And if I'm not mistaken, when Evenly Match first dropped, I believe it topped out around, uh, and correct me if I'm wrong down in the comment section, I remember seeing it as expensive as... Um, 80 80 uh, 81 dollars or so i think it never quite reached that 85 mark that i saw on pre-release um etc but you know talking about this car obviously you know infinite permeance is not as impactful card as evenly matched and yet i'm seeing this ridiculous price point at least in my opinion it's ridiculous of 83.99 to almost you know 85 dollars uh and i saw some listings briefly for upwards of um 95 dollars that those obviously aren't there anymore but you know, going down, scrolling down, seeing some of these values that they have on the card, 87 dollars uh, 74 you know, obviously 350 shipping, 72 that's just bidding on it. Um, I'm looking at this card, and I need to at least, you know, I'm just looking at, you know, this card. Let's read the effect real quick. Bring it up, and it says, let's see, mouse to zoom. If you control no cards, you can activate this card from your hand. All right, so it's obviously great going second. Uh, target one face of monster your opponent controls. Negate its effects until the end of this turn. Then, if that card was set before activation, so so let me see, let me see. then if this card was set before activation and is on the field at resolution for the rest of the turn, all other spell and trap effects in this column are negated. Okay, so obviously this is a good little car. I think it's well designed. I don't think it's broken in any way, form, or fashion. But that leads me to ask, is this car worth 85, 85 almost $90 on some listings, if you will? Uh, and then, you know, that's just, in my opinion, no. Um, looking at some of the uh, previous releases, like things like this, this for instance, I, can't, I compare this to traps that kind of change the meta like a evenly matched uh, when it came out d barrier when it first came out those things that really 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 crept up there and honestly truth be told, i don't remember d barrier creeping up as high as 80 um at pre-release if i'm not mistaken and once again correct me down in the comment section and i'm looking at this car and i'm just thinking to myself is this car worth its price point and you know we're looking at a a, a 250 dollar play set uh, for this car is it you know handy uh if obviously if, if you have it you play it absolutely i agree with that i think it's a very good card but is it worth you know this absurd amount of money that i'm seeing here um and to me no which kind of proves my point that i was talking with some buddies earlier about what you know flood actually has in it and is overall as a set is it a good set and then once again my opinion on that is no not really i think we're having we have a, a couple good you know useful cards coming out the nightmare stuff some good generic help for decks that almost every deck uh, you know that I know of can you know play you know kind of kind of use you know just to uh, boost up the ceiling, which is that's that's really good. Uh, you got the uh, you know the new hand trap is coming out, which I you know do another video on that because um, I personally believe Called by the Grave is a much better card than uh, the Ghost Bell uh, hand trap. But I'm looking at Infinite and Permeance, man, and to me this card is just n not worth anywhere near this amount. And, you know, as a matter of fact, you know, uh, amongst, you know, my contention, I've even heard, heard some Yugi YouTubers say, like, I believe I was looking at, uh, I believe, Twizz's channel, uh, we had a small chat uh, in this comment section, and, you know, we were talking about how, I, you know, I, me personally, I, I dish out 20 bucks for this card a piece. You know, I, I give 60 for a playset in terms of how much I value the card at. Um, but uh, this right here, eighty-four, eighty-five dollars. I mean, you, this is something that's meta, uh, meta changing. Uh, you know, obviously, meta game defining. As I said, D barrier completely changed the way things were being played at that point. Completely just had a massive impact on the meta when it dropped. Um, evenly matched, just a massive impact on meta when it dropped. Um, and those cards, you know, really crept up there. Uh, obviously, it's cards like Ash Blossom, you know, just game changing. Those crept up there. Those are, at the, you know, in my opinion, were worth their uh, price points, but. Infinite and Permeance, in my opinion, just does not do enough to value, you know, this kind of, or to garner this kind of price. Um, and like I said, that's just my opinion. Obviously, if I had, you know, access to the car for a cheap price, would I pick it up? Sure. If I have, you know, play set of it, do I play it? Sure. But would I be shoving out, you know, big bucks like this right here just to uh, play Infinite and Permeance for what it does? No. Um, and that's just my opinion on that, guys, once again. Um, you know, leave me what you think down in the comment section. Is this card worth it? How uh, impactful on the meta you think it'll be, and uh, let me know what you think. This has been your boy Angel, guys. Hope and pray that you have a blessed day, and peace.